Hello and welcome to the Cameron and Tia show. Today I am giving you a tour inside our styling kit. So these are for photographing wedding details, everything that we do in the morning first thing of the day. So the shoes, the tie, the boutonnieres, the um, florals, the invitation suite, all of those things that really set the scene for the wedding day. So I'm gonna show you what's inside our styling kit. The first thing I wanna mention is a disclaimer. We are not fine art photographers. We are like your average old Joes for wedding detail photos. It's not something that we spend hours upon hours on. It's not something that we're like dying to get published in Minnesota Bride or Bride Magazine, anything like that. Um, it's something that we want to get clean, amazing photos for our clients that they'll cherish and that they'll want to look back on. It's not that we're trying to photograph high end, like just very high priority. So that's the first thing that I just want to know. So one thing also is this is just like a caboodle. Basically, it's a glorified caboodle um, and it is from Amazon. I am going to link everything today in our Amazon storefront so that if you want to grab it, you can anything that's from Amazon. Otherwise, I'll link some other stuff in the description box. Um, we do use styling mats. We have three styling mats that are from Kissbooks. They're the linen mats. Um, I would say they're like a seven out of 10. I'm not in love with linen. We really wish we would have gotten suede. I think it would have fit our brand better. Um, the linen is just hard to really keep flat and not have creases. And so then if we want it to be to look flat, we need to do a lot of post-production editing. We're not in love with that. That's not really the vibe. Um, but we do love styling mats because they can just get us a really clean look. So inside, let's do this thing. So it opens up just like with this little latch. And then what I like about it, like Caboodle vibes, is that it expands like this. Can you see? Yay! Okay, so inside you can see I have tons of ribbon. Literally so much ribbon. Um, I have some that are on these like traditional spools. Hold on, I got an itch on my eye. Like this kind of like clothespin vibe, like wood clothespin. I love that. I think that's super cute. I like to be able to just like unravel it and then allow it to lay like that. And then I have some that I like wrap in twist ties. Um, this is more like chiffon -y. It lays really pretty, but it can get really, really tangled. So I'll put it in twist ties. And then some that is more of this satin vibe um, that I'll just fold like this. So I try to have a lot of different colors. We have like these blush tones. Um, I have some like orange terracotta. And then honestly, I have a buttload of blue, just like so much blue ribbon um, because we have a lot of couples that do blue in their colors, but then some good neutrals, some whites and stuff that can go with really like black tie weddings or um, more boho weddings. So most of the ribbon is like satiny and um, it has the torn edges. I do have some ribbon that's velvet that's really pretty and some ribbon like this. You can see it's velvet too, um, but that is like a little bit thicker. Um, I love to be able to flow ribbon throughout. Probably most used in my styling kit are these acrylic blocks. Um, these are from Amazon. I love to use these for dimension. So for invitation suites, you can stack the invitation suite on them. It will give you a little shadow to give some more dimension to the photo. You can also, they are all the same um, depth, but you can obviously just stack two on top, which is a really great hack. Um, again, most used love them. Additionally, I have this braces wax. Um, this is also probably second most used. What I use this for primarily is um, for closing envelopes. So typically when we get envelopes, our couples might have given us two envelopes, which is awesome because then I can just lick one sealed and then keep one open. But if they didn't, this is really nice because I can close it and it's not permanent and closed. Like for example, if there's an envelope liner that I also want to take a photo of, um, I can just stick this shut. I can also use it to lay flat um, different pieces of the invitation suite. So like if they overlap and they're like just laying kind of funky, I can just press a little tiny bit of this like that. Um, the last use is for having rings straight up and down. I'll insert a photo of that, um, that I can just use the wax and you can't even see it there, which is a really awesome hack. Um, one more thing about these acrylic blocks is that sometimes with ladies' heels, um, if you want them to be parallel to the ground, parallel to the, your camera when you're shooting down on them, but they're not laying right, you can just put this underneath the heel of the shoe and then typically they'll lay more flat. You're able to get it in a more clean kind of focus plane and then either this is completely clear so you can't even notice it or it's a really easy thing to edit out. 
So I also have some wax seals in here. Um, these are fun. Um, if our clients don't have wax seals on an invitation suite, we just have these white ones, which are just fun if I want to add a little pop. Um, sometimes I'll just put these in dishes, like to be a decorative element, to kind of bring some white into the look. I have tons of antique stamps. Um, one thing I would recommend if you look for antique stamps like on Etsy or something is I got a pack that was like old timey and so it was all these neutral colors which I thought I was going to be really really excited about because they're like browns and terracottas um, like this but they actually have a ton of like old white men in them to be honest which is like not really a vibe. Like I don't gravitate towards those often. Like where am I going to put those in an invitation suite? Like really these aren't the stamps on their invitation suite. I'm just trying to add to it. Why would I add old men to it? So something to be aware of. Um, then in the bottom here, I have a whole bunch of ring boxes. So when I started out, Mrs. Boxes, those are like game changer, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. I thought I was going to save up to get a sample pack of Mrs. Boxes. I was like, I need that for my styling kit. I definitely do not. So um, we do recommend our couples get ring boxes. And so I would say maybe about a third do. And so they're beautifully coordinated with their wedding colors. But in the case that they don't, I need something to put the rings in to really complete the invitation suite. So I got a, a good handful from Amazon. Super affordable. Like I'm talking like this is literally like $14. It's beautiful. Like maybe you can see like this is like not quite perfect quality, but it's literally beautiful. Otherwise, it photographs gorgeous. $14. Um, these two, which I think have like this has a really fun texture to it. I love the way the velvet looks, are from local electric. Um, they were also very affordable, but honestly, they look bomb. I do have um just a handful of faux white florals. If the florist doesn't leave anything for us or the couple hasn't requested it from the florist and I just really feel like we need something extra and just some white florals would look nice and they still coordinate with their wedding flowers enough, I will use these faux white florals. Um, I use them very rarely, but it's a just, just in case kind of scenario. I then have this clip in here. We use this for wedding dresses. If I hang a wedding dress and it's not falling how it would fall on the body, it looks really boxy, it doesn't really have a shape to it, I will use this in the back just to like pinch the waistline. It's really soft, it has these gentle like clippers so it's not gonna like rip the, or not clippers, like padding. So it's not gonna like rip the dress or like catch on sequins or anything and that allows us to get a little more shape for um, dress pictures. I also have these two spools, um, just different sizes. If I want to wrap the ribbon around it to kind of have like a starting place to like kind of add it framing, that's really fun. I also got these pieces from an invitation designer in just like a sample suite. And it has this bride groom with these beautiful deckle edges paper. And then it has this writing here um, with this ring, Ivy Wed. These are beautiful accent pieces, just like pop in an invitation suite to add a little bit more high end feel to it. Um, and I have some paper from that suite that I'll often use the back of just because it has that beautiful paper, beautiful deco edges. Then I have some dishes. Um, this set is actually Hearth and Hand, like the Magnolia brand or Hearth and Hand. I never know which one it is. Um, and so I have four in here. I'm just going to bring out two for you. Um, that look like this. I use these a lot. So what I'll do is maybe I'll have like the ring. Maybe I'll have her ring, let's say, in a ring box. And like this is just a one slot versus two slots. Get a variety because sometimes you'll want something different. So I'll have the ring in there. Then I'll have this and I'll have her um, earrings rest down this. I want to put his ring in here. Or I'll have his ring in here. I'll have her earrings and then her bracelet. Or I'll have his boutonniere resting in here. It just gives you some different shapes to play with and different variety. Um, always use the top of ring boxes because you can place these like kind of diagonal from each other or something to kind of spread out the same color, the same texture, but it gives you different surfaces to lay on. Really ties things in. I also have a set of this small bowl and then a whoops, slightly medium bowl. I use these all the time. They're just white. Um, they're ceramic. They're super beautiful from a seller on Etsy that I'll link. Um, and I love just having white like this. While the wood, I think, will tie in sometimes, like if he has wood in his ring or if he has brown shoes. Um, same with the black, the same vibe. Um, I think white is much more applicable. If I was just going to get one, I would just get the white. The last thing I have in here are called flower frogs. I just keep them in this box to be able to hold on to them. So they look like this. Again, from Amazon, um, 
Florists use flower frogs for a variety of reasons. Um, they These are extremely small. So normal flower frogs, I feel like normal flower frogs are like this big. And um, what they'll do is they'll stick stems into floral frogs to position them the way they want. So how I use floral frogs in invitation suites is often you'll get a flower. Like for example, these peonies, amazing. But how am I going to get them to face straight up for a flat lay? So you stick the back into the floral frog. So I'm just using it with my faux one right now. Um, and then this allows it to stand straight up so that it would be flat for a flat lay instead of like, for example, tipping over or not quite able to rest. Um, it also allows you to spread out petals. So like most roses don't look that awesome when they're straight up and down like this, but you can put it in here and then you can really spread the petals, open it up, open it up to maneuver it to look very beautiful for a flat lay um, versus how it would just look in person. So yes, that is the tour of our styling kit. Let me know if you have questions. Otherwise, again, everything will be linked down below for you. Some links are affiliate links, everything through Amazon, um, where we get a small kickback of your purchase, but it costs nothing extra to you, and we are so thankful for the support. Questions, drop them below. Otherwise, until next time, bye.